Bondia guys, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. And for the newcomers, my name is Didi Tehutu. And yes, I am the guy that with his family four years ago sold literally everything he owned to go all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Four years later, still traveling the world coming to you guys from lagos in portugal and today a short video because we are going to record another video today that will be launched next friday i think in gokstein media's video part because it's a family video so short video this morning in today's video bombing you with two very important bitcoin charts that you need to see and that you need to start to believe also bombing you with some really cool blockchain news yes about paypal stocks yes about an nft sold for a huge amount of money and yes at the same time also a huge warning because a lot of investors in this space are not as positive as i am so watch the video till the end guys because it's a cool video with a lot of information and really kick ass cool bitcoin charts bam <laughs> Don't talk too much Diddy, let's start with the Bitcoin TA part, the part where I bomb you with really cool charts while I walk to this beautiful adventure park here in Lagos where you can climb in the trees and all that stuff. They are closed because it's really early, at least you get a feeling of how it looks here at this adventure park. BAM! The first chart guys I'm going to share with you is a 4 year multiple chart created by charts btc what is a four-year multiple chart it is comparing the bull run of 2012 to 2017 with the bull run of 2016 to 2021 yes those five years let's take a look at this chart because this one is showing us something really 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 cool i really like it check the chart bam check the top of this chart guys check this bull run of 2012 to 2017 this orange line and now check the orange line above that one that is the bull run from 2016 to 2021 and you can see exactly where we are now and if you look to the left on this chart guys you can see that these runs are almost copying each other exactly so you can see the movements the ups the downs the bearish years then coming up again it's a complete copy of the previous bull run and at the moment we can see where the orange line is today and if you look to the orange line below that one that is the orange line of the bull run of 2017 and you saw that the moment we passed the point we are passing during this bull run we saw this huge acceleration of bitcoin to the 20k high we are again at this point and i know for you it's difficult to believe that we can accelerate again with this speed I didn't believe it in 2017 as well in January when Bitcoin was 800 to 1200 US dollar. I didn't believe you want to go BAM to 20k and now we don't believe that the same move can happen again but we can see that we have been copying the bull run of 2012 to 2017 exactly now again in 2016 till now 2020. So the last part of this bull run, I think we are going to copy that one as well. Why am I walking that way? I wanted to show you the adventure park. I need to walk that way so you can see the forest. I was walking that way because I always walk to the sun. <laughs> this chart is going to make even more clear why I believe we are going to copy the previous bull run as well. Check this chart. Bam! Oh man, I have so much energy because we as a family are going to do such a cool thing today. But I will come back to that later and, and probably you need to wait till Friday to see that go live. But on this chart you can see what will happen if we will copy the previous bull run. Yes, I believe we will copy the previous bull run. And this chart is going to show you where we will end during this bull run. And if you look to the 2017 bull run, you can see that the acceleration of this bull run started when this cup was filled. I call it a cup was filled. When you see this blue area, 
is filled. That is the moment we reach the previous all-time high. At the moment we reach that previous all-time high, you fill the cup with blue. And from the moment this cup was filled, we saw the acceleration in the bull run. But from the moment this cup was filled, it took another 279 days. So it took 279 days from this blue cup filled till the top of the previous bull run. If you look to today, guys, you can see the same thing is happening again. We just reached the previous all-time high of 20K. This blue cup is filled now. And now, at the moment, we are 14 days later than the filling of this blue cup. If we would copy the previous bull run, we would need another 265 days for the bull run to reach the all-time high of that cycle. If we would copy the previous one, because that one took 279 days. So comment down below if you know which day that would be. Because if we want to calculate from now, what day would that be that we would reach the new all-time high in 2021? Let me know down below in the comments. And that will bring me to the next part, guys, because you all ask now, yeah, but what is going to happen in the short term, Didi? I don't know. And I don't care at the moment, because the only thing that I need to do for the short term is accumulate more Bitcoins. And you can accumulate more Bitcoins by just buying Bitcoins and huddling for this next bull run, or you trade Bitcoins using the Bam Bam indicator, of course. And if you use the Bam Bam indicator, you have a huge chance of making profitable trades. And that is why I don't look at the short-term charts anymore. Yes, we will go to 19K and maybe to 20K and maybe we fall back to 17K and maybe we bounce again to 20K and maybe we reach 21K. That's like an area of two, three Ks we are playing at the moment. Let this be an area of five Ks we are playing at the moment. What does it matter if I believe that the bull run starts to accelerate from the next couple of months into 50k or into 60k or into 100k next year? What does it matter if I buy Bitcoin then 2k cheaper or 3k cheaper? You know, if you believe that Bitcoin is going to reach those highs, then you buy Bitcoin without any doubt if it is 17k, 19k or 15k. It doesn't matter. But if you want to make more Bitcoins, then I can understand that you look at the short-term charts. And I can look at all these traders and all those charts. And I love those traders and I love those charts. And yes, I agree with a lot of them. But I focus more and more on the Didi Bam Bam indicator because that one is bringing me profit. Even yesterday, it was a very flat day. It was like a boring day, like a flat day in trading. But even yesterday, we were able to make a small profit. Check this chart. BAM! We traded with $200 and a leverage of 10 on the Bybit exchange, guys. Yes, still copy trading on Prime XBT, doing well over there, and also using Dudex. And yes, if you want to sign up to these exchanges, please use our referral codes down below this video because you know that when you use these referral codes, we will earn some extra and we will share that extra with poor people all over the world. Like you saw in last week's video, the shoes and to the kids in Venezuela. Like you saw on the Thailand video, the 6,000 meals we gave away. Like you saw in last Christmas video, the Christmas dinner we gave to 26 children in India in this orphanage. We share our wealth with the poor people and the profits, especially from making YouTube videos and those trading accounts all that referral links so please use the referral links to prime x with the 50 percent deposit bonus buy bid 90 dollar deposit bonus do dex 300 deposit bonus use our links please we share it but let's get back to the chart that chart that is showing you how much profit we make on this very flat dd bam bam day this dd bam bam chart with a leverage of 10 guys and we played with 200 US dollar you can see the first trade we did was a long it was a long of six percent which which brought the total amount to 212 US dollar second trade guys was a short a short of around six percent so that brought the total amount to 225 US dollar if you look closely to the chart guys you can see that we entered this short a little bit later than the flag appeared and that the Didi Bam Bam blue line crossed downwards on the white line. Why did we enter a little bit late? Because we could see in the bottom part of the chart that there was a lot of green. And always when there is a lot of green, the bulls are still not giving up. So there is not a lot of support in the market to push the price downwards. And that is why I didn't take the short at the flag 
but a few candles later we took the short yes the profit was less but I had a confirmation in the bam bam indicator that we were going down I had a confirmation in the margin call indicator that the green went down to the yellow and bluish part so that was for me a triple confirmation to take the short at that point and that is why it was only a six percent short but it's still six percent guys it's still making profit and after that guys we took a long of 9.7 percent which brought the amount to 247 us dollar i think and that followed up again with a short of six percent which brought the total amount to 260 us dollar and we ended the day with a long of four percent or 4.5 percent something like this and we ended with 270 us dollars something like 270 us dollar so it was a very flat day we started with 200 dollar we ended with 270 two or three US dollar so it was only like seventy dollar profit but still it was profit for just following an indicator the Didi BAM indicator of course and that tells you when to buy and when to sell your bitcoins or when to start a long or when to start a short so still happy profit is profit that were all the charts I will keep it short guys because I need to prepare a lot of stuff for later today the video we are going to create is going to be kick-ass cool so ah, I'm hyped I need to prepare for that as well so let's jump into the blockchain slash news part BAM The first news guys, PayPal. Yeah, we all know that PayPal now makes it possible to buy Bitcoins in the United States, probably next year all over the world, like globally. But the thing that happened now is very interesting. Because since PayPal announced that they accept Bitcoin, that they allow people to buy Bitcoin through PayPal, their stock surged with 17%. So the value of this PayPal stock increased with 17% since they announced that people now can use and buy Bitcoin on PayPal. If you compare this to the Nasdaq, 6.5% and the S&P 500, 3.5% in the same period, PayPal really did well just by starting to accept Bitcoin. Of course, there are some other positive news as well, but I think the Bitcoin news was the bomb news that's made the price of the PayPal stock surge with 17%. Why is this important? Because other kick-ass huge companies will see this. They will see, wow, PayPal started to accept Bitcoin. What? The price of the stock increased with 17%. So what do you think that all these stockholders and investors of all these other kick-ass huge companies are saying now in their meetings? They sit on this huge table in the meeting or maybe digital now because of the COVID shit. And they're like, oh my God, guys, did you see what happened with PayPal? It went up with 70% just because they announced that they are going to accept and use Bitcoin on their platform. And that was only the US. What, may, what do you think will happen when it will go globally? And these stockholders, they were all like, yeah, why does, doesn't the company that we have stock in do the same? Why doesn't do Apple do the same? Why doesn't do this and that and that company that the stockholders are having this meeting of? Why don't we do the same? Why don't we start to embrace Bitcoin and blockchain into this industry and make sure that our stock price will increase? Because that's why we bought the stocks, not to make loss, but to make profit. So I think this will create this fear of missing out among huge kick-ass companies that could be affiliated to Bitcoin and blockchain. But on the other hand, there is this negative news that I read also today. This news is about that a lot of investors, I think more than 50% of the investors, think that Bitcoin is not going to 50k before 2030. That's a long, 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 very sad long time. No, I don't think it will take eight years before we get to 50k, but a lot of investors in this space do think this. To be clear, only 3.5% of the investors thinks that we are going to reach 500k before 2030. So that's only 3.5% of the investors. 17% of them said, yeah, we will reach 50k somewhere between now and 2030. And 50% of the investors answered, nah, we do think that Bitcoin is going to be 20k or less in 2030. 20k or less in 2030. So they, those investors think that there will not be any more demand for Bitcoin. And probably they still think that the amount of Bitcoins that will be around there doesn't have a cap and will grow infinite to 60 million Bitcoins or something. Or they just don't understand the concept of offer and demand. Because guys, wake up. Bitcoin, there will only be 21 million and the demand is growing tremendously all over the world. I think in the future, man, guys, like I said many times, governments, central banks, and other centralized organizations will be fighting on Bitcoin. They want to have and own Bitcoin. And you think that Bitcoin can't double 
from this moment till 2030, then I think that 50% of these investors is doing the wrong job. Because if 50% of the investors doesn't believe that Bitcoin will reach 50K before 2030, then they are just not equipped to be in this industry of investments. That will be the investors that missed Google, that missed Amazon, that missed all these kinds of stocks. I just can't believe that I read this negative news that there were so many investors that really believe that it's not possible for Bitcoin to reach 50K before 2030. Uh, stop it. Go find another job. Do some other advice. Don't be an investor anymore because you will lose big time, I think. Then there was one more news I want to talk about, the NFT world. We have been talking about the NFT world many times already, guys. Yes, it is the non-fungible token world. And artists are finding their way into this non-fungible token world more and more. Yesterday on the Nifty Gateway, guys, there was art sold for 3.5 million US dollar. 3.5 million US dollar was auctioned on the Nifty Gateway, guys. The most expensive piece ever auctioned was sold yesterday. It was sold for $777,777. I don't know who put in the bid, but the guy won the bid with 777777. He didn't want to put in 666666 because then he would thought that it would be a devilish bid, but he bought it. For that amount of money in total 3.5 million us dollar was sold i think it were nfts created by people and um, he's some kind of artist uh, to be honest i don't know him i just read the article and i saw a video that we, he was being uh, champagne by his friends because he sold for 3.5 million us dollar in nft art really cool um, do read the article and do start to investigate in this nft world guys because this world is going to be huge these things are creating value and you can prove that you are the owner of that value and you can exchange that value very transparent and very trustful on the blockchain so that is really cool there's a lot of stuff happening in this nft world so i would advise guys join our discord server we talk about nfts there as well of course and i can tell you more and more about this because i own some nfts as well and maybe in the next couple of days i will launch another nft a really cool nft but i will keep you up to date about that that was all the blockchain news then we have one more part in this video and that is the family part let's jump into the family part. BAM! First thing, the Discord server, thank you to all the people helping me out there. Thank you for all your help. I'm very thankful that you help others. And yes, I incentivize you with some family, but that's not a lot of money. I think you do it because you love to be part of the Bitcoin family. And I'm so thankful that you want to be part of the Bitcoin family. So with Christmas, guys, I'm going to get, do a really cool giveaway of a lot of family tokens to the people that are most active in our Discord server. So to the most active Bitcoin family members, I will do a sh giveaway of a shitload of family tokens just to show you how thankful I am. Yes, we can measure this, but the most active people, I will have a very nice, a very, very nice Christmas present. So if you're not on the Discord server yet, make sure you sign up to the D Bitcoin family Discord server because we talk there daily with more than 1,000 members about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. And yes, also about the Bam Bam indicator and many more things. We have an advent calendar now during the month of December. You get a nice surprise every day. Mostly it's knowledge, it's a discount code or whatever, or a coupon. But you know, it's nice just to be part of the Bitcoin family. So I would invite you now to come to the Bitcoin family and talk there about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Also have a chance on winning family tokens every day because we do the games there we do trivia drops and all those kind of games where you can earn family tokens yes and these have value another really cool thing that i want to talk about with the family is today we are going to do a very very cool thing and i hope that the weather stays like this and we can film it all and that we can put this in the next episode of Gokshai Media this Friday because this Friday again the episode will go live and I hope that one will be watched again so many times as the other ones I think in the other ones in total have been watched uh, around 50k times already so this one is also going to be watched a lot of times because this one will have some really cool content and then there is one more thing there is one member that saw my video oh, I wish I had this beautiful song uh, to put below my videos her name is Lore Olivas she reached out to me and she said Didi I can help you did you ever write a text for a song and that is where I leave it that is the only thing I will tell you guys at the moment because I can tell you that something really cool is going live in the next couple of days I don't know which day exactly but it is going live 
and it has to do with music, it has to do with the Bitcoin family, it has to do with BAM! That was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and communities, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. I want to thank you for watching, and always remember guys to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is about. Thanks for watching today and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye!